Hi, boys and girls. It's Friday, November 20th, um, and I am redoing our agenda for today after I've worked on some tests today that didn't quite work out the way I had hoped that they would. So I am going to redo it now so I can send it to you. Um, on our agenda today, we are a morning message, which we're doing right now. And then you're going to go to morning work. We're correcting page 48. Um, so please make sure you have page 48 finished from yesterday before you go to the correcting video. We're not doing a new page because we're going to have a whole week off for, for Thanksgiving break. So um, I don't want you to go ahead and start another page. We're just going to correct page 48. Vocabulary. We are doing a test in Edmodo on all of the um, words we've done all the last eight weeks of words we've done. So you can use your book. I would encourage you to use your book because the answers are in your book and I've taken them directly word for word out of your book and put them in the test. So I would have your book and make sure you're just paying attention, reading what it is I'm asking for, and then find the answer in your book and you can choose the correct answer. Um, there's no grammar test because like I was saying, I was trying to um, get a grammar test to work out for Edmodo, but it does not have the features that I need it to have. And after many, many, uh, well, at least more than an hour trying to work on just that alone, I decided, you know, I think we'll be okay. Um, then moving on to reading interactive notebook, we're going to do two activities to finish out our um, context clues in fiction reading. Um, I have included a story, um, How to Catch a Turkey, from a YouTube video that you can enjoy. And then for spelling, we do have a spelling test today on list eight words. Um, and also make sure you have your four activities done. These are for a grade, remember. So you will have um, a test in vocabulary and then a test in spelling. And then you have your math question of the day and your reading question of the day. Your reading question of the day is going to be based on the grammar we've been doing. And your math question of the day will be based on the math that we did today in our video. So you'll want to finish those before you do that question. Then in math, we are doing lesson 3.5. So there's a video to go with that. Um, and, uh, and the homework, and then we'll correct that homework when we, when we come back. But it's important for us to keep moving on our lessons so that we can get through topic three. Um, then there's extra math. I'd love it if you would do at least one session with Mr. C. Um, and then IXL, you have your starred assignments. Remember, your starred assignments are in Edmodo. Let's go find it really quick so we can talk about it. Go to math. It's being kind of slow. There we go. I think my internet is calling it quits for the eve. All right, so in your IXL folder, here where my cursor is, list of IXL starred assignments for topic three from November 9th through the 30th. Um, I'm gonna extend that to December 4th uh, because uh, we won't be finished with topic three before then, so I, I'm gonna extend it past that. Um, we don't have anything in social studies or science that's new. We did have some activities on Wednesday. And then the art activity, that's just been in there for the week. It's not required, um, just for fun. But if you do the activity, I would love to see a picture of it. Uh, that would be awesome. I've gotten about three, and it's been really fun to see those. In Edmodo, we have our reading question of the day and our math question of the day. Please make sure that you're getting all of those filled in. I was looking in the progress today um, in the grade book, and I have a couple of people that don't have all of the questions of the days finished. So please make sure you have those finished before Sunday evening. That's when I need to do attendance. Then we have a Zoom meeting at two o'clock if you can make it. There's also a video I sent to your email um, teaching you how to do Kahoot during a Zoom meeting, so pl please check that out. Um, we've been having a lot of fun with those um, Kahoot games in our Zoom meetings. And remember to read. And then I'd like to say happy birthday to Rafe today. is Rafe's birthday. And um, 
And then happy birthday to Adeline. Her birthday is next week, the day before Thanksgiving. So I hope you both have wonderful birthdays. And um, if, if uh, classmates, if you want to send them an email, you know that it's just first name, last name, and you can send them an email to say happy birthday if you'd like to. Um, but I hope that you guys have a wonderful birthday today and, and next week, Adeline. And um, then finally, I just wanted to say, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Enjoy your time with your family and with good food. And, um, and I just wanted to say I'm very thankful to be able to be your teacher. I'm very thankful to you for working so hard. I'm thankful to, you par to your parents for supporting you and supporting me and working so hard through all of this. And um, just thankful that we are um, a third grade class at Vision Charter School. So I'm just glad that you're a part of my class and I get, I'm glad that I get to be a part of your life. And hopefully we'll be able to have some normal times together too. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, go ahead and get your work done. There's not too much to do today. The videos, some of the videos are very short. Um, vocabulary video is very short. And, um, and then you'll be all done for a week. All right, guys. Thank you and um, have a good time.